okay hey guys welcome to my youtube channel it's been a while since i've been here and i am so sorry i am back and i am better um i'm just gonna give you a quick live update and then i will get straight into today's video uh lately what has been going on in my life yes i graduated last year a big congratulations to me and um i started a business yeah i have a skincare uh, line this is actually what i use on my face if you can see <laughs> Your girl's, your girl's glowing and I'm not putting on anything, you know, you know, nothing, nothing at all. And this is my face. So I, uh, I started a skincare line. This is the face mask. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Obviously you're not. I'm horrible with lighting, but anyways, um, I started my skincare line. We have the serum, we have the, uh, African black soap and we have the face mask. None of them are for skin whitening. They're just for, uh, you know, brightening your skin. And girl, you can tell I'm glowing, girl. Okay. So before I get straight into this video, do not forget, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that post notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video, and that's on period. <laughs> I missed that okay so today we will be having a very good conversation and um, it's been a while coming uh, based on what I've been doing if you see me look down I have my notes here I have decided to take YouTube really seriously I know I've been talking about that but uh, I will be giving you Intel to what's happening in my life um, as a mobile massage therapist, I will be giving intels. I'll be taking you around, taking you along with me. I have decided to turn this channel upside down and downside up, I guess. Yes. So uh, as you can see, I, 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 I miss you guys. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've missed being in front of a camera. But today, I will be going straight into today's video. Today, we will be talking about elegance and femininity elegance and femininity so anytime i look down i really wrote a lot of things for you guys like this book is filled with notes of all the videos that i will be making i will be posting twice a week um from today henceforth god help me uh so yeah let's go straight into this video okay guys uh yes we're talking about elegance and femininity first of all i'd like to define what elegance and femininity is many people get the wrong idea on what elegance what femininity is all about these are two different things they are completely different when i tell you completely different we will get into that first of all i said elegance is the quality of being graceful and stylish in appearance and manners elegance is all about how you look and how your etiquette how you behave in public you understand let's not say public because we're trying to make this a habit let's just say how you behave you understand it's more like an expression of who you are while femininity is uh, they are the qualities or attributes regarded as characteristics of women so femininity is all about who you are while elegance is an expression of femininity uh, yes as a feminine woman, I love, I am a fun-loving person. So uh, elegance is all about, you know, being outgoing. Uh, it's just like the qualities uh, that I am trying to portray. Yes. So elegance, when they ask you these two things, femininity is who I am. Uh, elegance is how I show it, how I express it, my style and my manner. Okay, so I said these two words have one thing in common. What do they have in common? They have one word in common and it means, and what is that word? It's a woman. So these two things are all about the beauty of being a woman. And sincerely, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I have uh, been through a moment of understanding that a woman actually has power. A woman, she oozes of an unexplainable type of power and this is something that we will be going through on this YouTube channel we're gonna be exploring different ways of empowering yourself as a woman okay so first thing I said is yes it is important that women understand these qualities in order to build on their power as women and then I said let me give you a big example a good example of who an elegant and feminine woman is First of all, I'd like to give my mother as an example, but you guys don't know my mother, so it's fine. I'm going to pick someone that you can Google and find and follow and, you know, try to emulate. When I mean emulate, I don't mean you just change your life and become this woman. I mean, just look for the good things that she does that, you know, 
works in line with what you do, what you want to be, who you want to be. And this example is Michelle Obama. Oh my God. Since I started following that woman, I have been having, you know, changes in the way I think and the way I do things. Uh, her, her eloquence, her posture, both standing and sitting. You would never catch Ma'am Michelle looking or standing or sitting in the wrong way with the posture and everything, her mannerism, the way she speaks, uh, the way she dresses, her clothing, and the ways, the ways in which she communicates these these things about her they all portray elegance and this is the thing we want to work with this is the life we want to have a life where uh, we are respected as women and we exude leadership we exude um, power so I will be giving you a few tips quickly just a few tips on what we should do to become uh, a feminine woman so now we are not talking about elegance because we all know that elegance is all about the way you act your etiquette um, and the way you choose to dress so femininity will be leaning more to femininity than elegance but I'll be dropping a few tips on uh, elegance so firstly my first tip is always send thank you notes even after saying thank you, believe me, this drives people crazy. When you show the sense of gratitude, letting the person know that you care and you, you are considerate and you are willing to go that extra mile, it just lets that person understand how much you value them, how much you understand the gravity of what they have done, even if it's just short visits. I mean, everyone has a life that they are living. Everyone has things that they are busy doing. So... For someone to pay you a short visit, you need to be thankful, you need to show gratitude. Let that person understand that you welcome the person. Let that person know that you are grateful. Gratitude is the biggest way to a man's heart. Let's talk about relationships now. When you show gratitude, even to the little things that a man does for you, that man will go crazy. That man will want to have you to himself. Why? Because you don't necessarily see... Uh, women lately showing any form of gratitude and that's 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 something we need to work up work on uh, work about <laughs> okay yes let's move on to the second tip the second tip is this always be on time like i said this is a walk and i would say this I am not always on time, but we are working. Uh, you know, this is a walk. Elegance and femininity, you're not just a 100% feminine woman. You need to keep upgrading and working on yourself. So always be on time. Other people, you need to respect other people's time. It is important. You see, even if it's on dates, I don't know this thing about women saying uh, when a guy books a date for 10 o'clock, you come 12. No, we are not about to do that. We are not trying to do that. We are not trying to make them feel worthless before or, or, less, or less understood. You understand? We're not trying to make them feel like, uh, yes, you need to act like the price. You are the price, my dear. But you don't have to make yourself portray as a proud woman. You don't have to make yourself portray as that woman that doesn't care. Because if you don't keep to my time, then I understand that you do not care a bit about what is going on with me. The fact that I set time out to see you, to be around you, this has to do with date, it has to do with meetings. The fact that someone sets out time out of their busy schedule to see you, you need to prove that you respect the time that they have set out for you. And if you need to be there at 12, Believe me, as a woman, getting ready is a big thing. We can have a whole walk-in closet and we think we don't have anything to wear. It happens with everyone. It, it happens with me. I have I have a whole closet and I do not believe that I have uh, enough to wear. Even as you can see, what I'm wearing, I, at first I was like, no, I don't have what to wear. Let me go buy a clothes for YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, I think you understand what I'm saying. If you have a date at 12, it's always important for you to get ready at, let's say, start getting ready at 10. Your makeup can be an hour, that's 11. You shower, you dress up, and you get there. You need to manage your time because this also makes uh, the people of the opposite sex uh, understand that the same way you respect their time is the same way they should respect your time. For me, as a massage therapist, what has this uh, time uh, taught me? I used to come late, you understand? But now, as a massage therapist, people actually pay for my time. So now I know how important it is to keep to time, especially when you have a client that says, please do this at this time, I need to get this done. It's always important for you to respect other people's time and respect your time. 
So, a quick break from all those tips, I need to let you know this. I said you do not need so much money. Elegance, elegance means, yeah, the way you dress, the way you, uh, your etiquette, the way you act, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to break the bank. These are a few videos, a few information that I will be letting you no, giving you a few tips on uh, how to dress and everything as you can see this wig I have on my hair I made it myself I made this wig myself how I've never done it before I just got a wig cap and I bought the hair the, I bought the hair the hair is actually not that expensive and look at me looking like someone's wife Ew. yeah look at me and you see I stopped putting those nails of those <laughs> but anyways this also has to do with my line of job but you need to understand that you can be elegant in the way you treat people, the way you respect them, and the way you respect yourself. So elegance is all about respect for yourself, respect for others, respect for your emotions, your emotions for your body and the, your environment. Yeah, so that's what mostly what elegance is all about. Uh, I'll give you two more tips and then we'll be wrapping up this episode. Uh, if I get enough likes and comments on this video, then we'll be you know letting out a part two believe me there is a lot that we need to work on uh next tip is this you need to have your home entertainment ready if you're living alone if you're living with your family please stock your fridge with drinks with um snacks little things for entertainment this shows a person that you actually care that they took our time to come and visit you it also leaves a lasting idea a lasting uh memory in people's minds that this woman is actually actually welcoming is actually warm so you need to stock your fridge it doesn't have to necessarily be croissant and the champagne and all those things juice um biscuits, uh, chips, those little things so that a person feels more welcomed in your space. Uh, yes, you need to also be prepared for short notice visits. I, you know, there are people who just call you and say, hey, are you at home? Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> uh, yes, say no sometimes when you know that person is either taking advantage or the fact that you're always at home or maybe you just don't want to see someone. It's always good to learn how to say no. But sometimes to those people that you don't know how to say no to, it's always important for you to know. Make time for these people. Uh, make sure they feel comfortable. This is also important. As a woman, you should know how to host people. Because obviously, we're not trying to get married to, you know, uh, I'm not trying to throw shade, but for me, I'm planning on getting married to a very famous man. I don't know. He's got to be famous. He's got to have friends, you know. So when my, my husband's friends come around, they have to feel welcome. They have to feel like my home is their second home, although it's not your home. I'm just, you know, taking care of you for a few hours or so. So yes, they need to feel welcome. So these hosting tips you need to start learning them and if you're already married if you're already married it's always there's always enough time for you to change you understand so last tip you need to stay away from gossip even though you have evidence concerning what is going on in someone's life please keep it to yourself it is not your business if you are not asked please keep it to yourself learn to keep your business and other people's business keep your hands away from it especially if it's things that you can't say in front of them please don't say it behind them it is very important because you're gonna get dragged and an elegant woman a feminine woman a woman with power doesn't fight please we got to keep our skin glowing. We can't have bruises on our skin. So please try to get away from other people's businesses. It's very important. Yeah, so these are a few tips I will be giving to you. In our next part, I will be talking about every other thing concerning the way you dress. I'll give you a few tips on how to look elegant on a budget because why that's what this channel is all about okay so thank you for watching this video i do hope you loved this video remember to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel watch all the videos and hit the post notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a new video that's on period pool. so thank you for welcoming me back <laughs> remember to please if you want your skin to look as you know glowy and pretty as mine is then do not forget to send me a message on my comment section i will be leaving my details my business page on instagram everything you can find it in the description box and just ask me and i can send this to you anywhere around the world period Mwah.